God has remembered you. You've been praying, crying to God. It's been tough in your life. It's been hard. This is like eight years of stiff problem in your own house. You want things to turn around, but things are so hard. You are afraid of death because of what's been happening in the past seven years. The Lord says, do not worry. Today is the day of a turnaround in the realm of the spirit. Now I feel like going deeper, deeper, deeper. Can I? Can I go deeper, 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 deeper? Too deep. Go deep. Say, God says there is a turnaround that is coming to your house. Prophesy. A special blessing that is coming to your house. I'm moving in the realm of the spirit. I am seeing Pamela in the realm of the spirit. It's your wife. I'm seeing her on a bed. I see she can't even get up. She can get up, but she's stuck in bed. It's like she's been feeling this spirit holding her, and she don't know what to do. She don't know what to do. Prophesy. But the Lord says, a turnaround is about to take place in your own house. Prophesy. My God. Where is she right now? Where is she right now? She's at home. The Lord says he's going to touch her right now. And bring a turnaround in your life. Jesus. I am moving all the way. I'm moving all the way to 1899. 1899. I'm seeing a lady by the name Charlotte in a family. Charlotte, I saw C H A Charlotte. And I was seeing her moving, and I saw her carrying a, a, a baby. In 1933, I see her giving birth. I see a man like uh, Re Leroy, Leroy, L-E-E-R-O-Y, 1933. Her dad. Yeah, father. Yes, her father. I saw her giving birth to that man. I moved to 1935. I am seeing someone like, uh, like Rod Rodney, Rodney. I see her giving birth to someone like Rodney, huh? Uncle. Your uncle. And I'm moving in the realm of the spirit. I'm standing in the year of 1957. I'm seeing a wedding that took place in 1957. When I saw the wedding, I saw this Leroy marrying a lady. I'm seeing D, I'm seeing an O, I'm seeing an S, I'm seeing a T, I'm seeing an E, I'm seeing an R. God see. Who is Dusty? Her mom. Her yeah, mother. On the wedding, I'm seeing a lot of people there. I'm seeing Marshall on the right. After Marshall, I am seeing someone like David, like a diva. After diva, I'm seeing a lot of people there. I'm seeing a man on a wheelchair like, a, like the father. The Lord is saying there is a generational blessing that is running in a house. I'm moving in the realm of the spirit. I am seeing Dusty pregnant. I'm seeing a giving birth. I'm seeing a naming a child like a James. Uh, but I'm seeing people calling him like Jim. That's her brother. Yeah, brother. I'm moving in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing Dusty pregnant again. I'm seeing Dusty giving birth to someone. I'm looking at this name. As I'm looking, I'm seeing R A N D. I'm seeing someone like Randy. Her brother, Randy. Yeah, brother. I'm moving also in the realm of the spirit. After Prophesy. seeing Randy, I'm seeing someone like Chesty. After I saw Chesty, I'm seeing her Pamela in the realm of the spirit. After Pamela, I was moving in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord said there's a generation of blessing that started from 1899. And the Lord says that blessing will not depart from the house. She should have died, but the Lord saved her. I am seeing a demon being sent from the heavens, from, from, from hell. And I'm seeing a demon touching your wife. There is a specific time that I'm seeing your wife in a hospital. She almost died in a hospital. I'm seeing her in a coma. It's like for seven hours, she could not come out from this hospital. There was like an operation on her neck. She had a surgery for four broken vertebrae in her neck. Which year was that? You tell me. I forgot. <laughs> it's years ago. Yes. After this surgery, I saw she survived. It was like seven hours in a surgery. Yes. Seven hours you were praying. People were praying outside. Yes. I even saw Dusty praying for her, crying to God. 
And the Lord is saying, because of the blessing that was released 1899, she did not die. But right now, I'm seeing the same spirit touching her. She can't even move. She can't even do anything. She's stuck. The Lord says, there is a prayer that was made. Somebody saw prophesy. Prophesy. There is a prayer that was made 1999. Prophesy. I'm seeing a lot of people. I'm even seeing you in the house. I'm seeing someone like Diva in the house. I don't know who is Dika and Diva. I don't know who are these people. They're uncles. The uncles. I see Diva here. I see Dika here. I see Leroy here. This is a house. It's like a family house. It is as if as I enter in this house, I am seeing a stove here. It's like a black stove. On the left, I'm seeing wood, wooden table here with eight chairs here. But on the right, I'm seeing a leather couch. With a brown with a brown carpet here. I'm seeing a lot of people praying in this house. I don't know who this house is. But I see people praying outside. I'm seeing flowers. It's like a garden with a lot of flowers. My wife loves flowers. She loves flowers. I see people praying in this house. And because of the prayer that was made, the Lord says, your wife will not die, but she shall live and declare the works of the living God. Because of the generational blessing that I'm seeing in this house. I'm moving. I'm seeing your wife pregnant. I see your wife giving birth. There is a son. I'm seeing J-A-S-O-N. First son, Jason. Jason, your first son. Somebody shall prophesy. The Lord said there is a generational blessing from 1899 that will not depart from this house. A generational blessing that shall touch many people. I'm seeing Naomi. Naomi holding hands with this boy. Naomi. Jason's wife. Nick. Jason's wife. Prophesy. The Lord says there is a blessing that is in your house. There is an anointing that is in your house. I'm also moving. I'm seeing another guy. I'm seeing J-U-S-T-I-N. My middle son, Justin. Justin, your middle son. Is it like a second born or something? Second born. He's the middle son. The Lord says there is oh a God. blessing coming upon Justin right now. Jesus. There is an anointing coming upon Justin. Prophesy. Because in the realm of the spirit... I am seeing him moving from one place to another, one neighborhood to another. I'm seeing him building a house from, 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 from the ground. I'm seeing him building houses and building houses. And the Lord says, I bless that business. I bless the works of his hands. Even not only Justin, I don't know who is the Jordan. Jordan. My youngest son. Your younger son. I also see him building together with Justin. They are like building houses. Building houses. I don't know if they do that, but I see them building houses. And the Lord says, a blessing is coming in your house. A blessing is coming in our car, brother. Prophesy, my God. I'm seeing Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, Jacqueline or Jackie. Justin was married to Jackie and they divorced. There There is a child that I'm seeing that is carrying a blessing. That will release the anointing for the next generation. Because I'm seeing a young child, Cobra Handy. I saw even complications. The enemy wanted to destroy the life of this child when this child was in the... Oh, Kaba Santo. This is like a teenager pregnant. I'm seeing someone, a, a young girl pregnant. I'm seeing a child. I'm seeing T-A-Y-L-O-R. Taylor. That's my oldest granddaughter. Your oldest granddaughter. I saw this was like a mistake. People call this child like a mistake or oh, something. Geez. Prophesy, my Jesus. She was 15 when she had Taylor. She was 15 when she gave birth. When she had Taylor. So when every, she everybody had Taylor. said it was wrong. I saw complications. I saw a lot of fight that took place. But the Lord stood because I saw an angel that was sent from the heavens. And I saw a protection that was there. And I saw Taylor coming out. The Lord says, it is Taylor that is going to manifest the blessing that was sent from Charlotte to Dusty, from Dusty to Pamela, from Pamela to your, 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 your granddaughter. I see this granddaughter. The Lord says, this daughter shall carry my anointing, my power, my grace, my power. This daughter shall move in the prophetic and manifest the blessing. The Lord says, worry not about your wife. Worry not about your marriage. I remember your prayer says the spirit of the living God. I don't know what is your name. I don't know where you are coming from. But it is as if I was taken in the Bible and I was seeing lions around you. I was seeing lions around you. Huh? I don't know who is D. Daniel. Huh? Daniel. Daniel is your name. 
The Lord says, I'm answering the prayers of Daniel today. I release a blessing upon Daniel because of this generational blessing. The Lord says, your children are blessed. Amen. Your sons are blessed. Amen. I only see three boys. I don't see any girl, but I see three boys. Prophesy. Only three boys. The Lord says, your sons are blessed. No weapon formed against your family shall prosper. Amen. For the anointing is moving around you, Kalabaria Katiako. I see V A L E. I see like a Valen Valentine. That's the boy's last name. There was the Lord says an anointing is coming upon them. The grace of the prophetic is coming upon them, and no weapon formed against them shall prosper. My blessing is upon your son, said the Lord, because there is a generation of blessing also from the Harrington, Harrington, Harrison, Harrington family. That's my side. Prophet. The Lord says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Amen. My anointing is coming upon thee. Jesus. My blessing is coming upon thee. I see Georgette written in the realm of the spirit. I see Georgette being written in the realm of the spirit. Thank you, Father. The Lord says a blessing is coming upon Georgette. The special grace is coming upon Josette. Prophesy. I'm selecting this family with an anointing. I'm remembering this family with an anointing. Prophesy. Therefore, worry not about where you are going. Worry not about your future. Yes. Worry not about your wife. Right now, I touch it. Right now, I heal you. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Jesus. Ruba ba 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 ye. Santo prata kasi katata. Stretch your hands towards this man. I'm going to pray for your wife. Your wife is going to get up right now. Your wife is going to walk right now. Your wife is going to run right now. And the spirit that's been touching your wife is going to be shifted out. For the blessing of the Lord is coming upon this house. That says the spirit of the living God. Stretch your hands towards him in the name of Jesus. Let our take. Prodaima ba 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 utetengi na makupepe hosalaha. Liru nonsa prahande ke dia kondeiko. Praka ta shakate. In the name of Jesus. I speak life upon Pamela in the name of Jesus. Life upon Pamela in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Miracle upon you in Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. I, give you my soul. I want you to call her right now and tell her to get up and begin to do what she, she was not doing. You are going to be sure because the miracle has been sent to your house. Um, well, first I want to thank God for doing this for my family. I, I don't know why he picked me, but I am so overwhelmed by what he has done. Um, we, we have been in a difficult season and God knew exactly when and where to do what he did to take us to the next level. And, and he has done it through this prophecy. I am here to testify that everything he said was exactly right. And he doesn't know me. He, I've never met this man. You guys that are watching this, this is real. This is not made up. This is real. Every detail very each time we watch it, we've watched this multiple times throughout the week just to encourage us and keep us strong. New details, we would see dates, or, and we verified them. We checked and we talked to Leroy and Dotsie, mom and dad, and confirmed all of this. So this was true, and, and I want the church to know that, that I believe the reason he does this is to show us that he cares about every little detail. And when he testified, when the prophet told us this, it was to show beyond a shadow of a doubt that he cares. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.